Friedman test, definition, example, assumption and application of using Friedman test. What is the Friedman test? The Friedman test is a statistical test used to determine if three or more measurements of the same group of subjects are significantly different from each other on a skewed variable of interest. Your variable of interest should be continuous and have a similar spread across your groups. Also, you have enough data, more than five values in each group. Alternative name for Friedman test. The Friedman test is also sometimes called the non-parametric repeated measures ANOVA. Non-parametric Friedman test or the Friedman rank sum test. Assumptions for the Friedman test. Every statistical method has assumptions. Assumptions mean that your data must satisfy certain properties in order for statistical method results to be accurate. The assumptions for the Friedman test include continuous, random sample, enough data. Let's study them in detail. Continuous. The variable must be continuous. Continuous means that the variable can take on any reasonable value. Some good examples of continuous variables include age, weight, height, test scores, service scores, yearly salary, etc. Random sample. The data points for each group in your analysis must have come from a simple random sample. This means that if you wanted to see if drinking sugary soda makes you gain weight, you would need to randomly select a group of soda drinkers for your soda drinker group. Enough data. The sample size or data set size should be greater than 5 in each group. When to use the Friedman test? You should use the Friedman test in the following scenario. When you want to know if many groups are different on your variable of interest, when your variable of interest is continuous, when you have three or more groups, when you have related samples. Let's clarify these to help you know when to use the Friedman test. Difference You are looking for a statistical test to see whether three or more groups are significantly different on your variable of interest. Continuous data your variable of interest must be continuous. Continuous means that your variable of interest can basically take on any values such as heart rate, height, weight, number of ice creams, bars you can eat in one minute, etc. Three or more groups. The Friedman test can be used to compare three or more related groups on your variable of interest. Related samples. Related samples means that you have repeated measures from the same units of observation. For example, if you have a group of men undergoing a treatment and you measure their cholesterol level at three points, then you have three groups of related data. Friedman test example Scenario A random sample of men undergo an exercise program. Repeated measures Data were collected at month 1, 2 and 3. Variable of interest cholesterol levels in this example, we have three related groups, the three points in time and one continuous variable of interest. After investigating our data, we determine our variable of interest cholesterol level is positively skewed so we know to perform the Friedman test. After confirming that our data meet the other assumptions of this test, we proceed with the analysis. We compare the three groups on our variable of interest that is cholesterol levels using a Friedman test. When we run the analysis, we get a chi-square statistics and a p-value. The chi-square statistic is a measure of how different the three groups are on our cholesterol variable of interest. A p-value is a change of seeing over results, assuming that the exercise program has no effect on cholesterol levels. A p-value less than or equal to 0 0.05 means that our result is statistically significant. And we can trust that the difference is not due to the chance alone. If the chi-square statistic is high and the p-value is low, it means that the cholesterol level were significantly different in at least one of the time points. Further investigation is required to determine which groups were significantly higher or lower than the others. 